space detectives. Oh, yeah. You know, every time it's the same. I'm just about to do something or go somewhere, and what happens? The chief calls me. I have to stop what I'm doing, and I've got to rush right here. Isn't that right, Roy? Well, not today. I am one step ahead. I'm already here. The following information is top secret. Sally Gray is Agent S, undercover detective. Deep underneath TV centre London, she reports to me, the chief of the BBC, collecting facts for transmission. But she's not alone. She needs your help to solve the mysteries of the universe. Together, you are Space Detectives. Shh, I'm sleeping. Shh. Go away, I'm sleeping. Roy the Rat, would you sh Chief, it's the Chief. Agent S, Hello? Agent S, it's against BBC rules to set up camp at work and certainly to be asleep on duty. I'm not, I'm here, I am awake. Looking good, Roy, hi detectives. So, come on, give me my instructions. You see, Agent S, space detectives aren't stay-at-homes. They venture into the unknown. Your task this week, whether you choose to accept it or not, is this. Find out how the world got caught up in a space race. When did man land on the moon? And who will be the first detective on Mars? Pack your bags, it's time to go. All right, all right, I'm on my way. Get a move on. Whew. OK, would you hurry up, Lift? I'm late. We are detectives. You can still see where the astronauts jumped on the moon. Because there's no wind or rain, the footprints that they left in their moon boots don't get blown away. So if you ever visit the Sea of Tranquility, you'll see them there. Thank you, Detective, for using your loaf. Talking of which, it's time for a rather flowery house-to-house -house inquiry. Right. And something tells me that I'm not here to bake bread. That's right, Agent S. It's time to create a crater. Sally Gray! No, oh, today I'm Agent S. I'm undercover. And by the looks of you two, I know that you can help me with my inquiries. Come on, let's get in. As I suspected. You see, in order for us to demonstrate how craters are formed, we need plenty of this stuff. Detectives, for this windmill to windmill inquiry, you'll need a bag of flour, some marbles, a tray and some powder paint. Step one. Right, imagine the flour in this tray is the Earth's rocky crust. And the powdered paint on top, thanking you Agent Joe, sprinkle it on top, is the Earth's surface. So that's your Earth. But what about your meteors? Step two. Shall we, Agent Jane? Oh, this is just perfect. Now, look, imagine that these marbles here are all meteors. In fact, better than that, I tell you what, I'll be a meteor. Step three. OK, now I'm a meteor. I'm travelling towards a planet at 160,000 miles an hour. A crater appears. Exactly, making the basin. And this raised rim here and all the white flour around the outside is called the ejector blanket. And basically, as the meteorite hit the Earth, all the debris went smashing out everywhere. And basically, the bigger the meteor, the bigger the crater. Step four. And to create the ultimate crater, you can mix some plaster of Paris and some water together to get this kind of a sticky goo. And so when the meteor hits, you can let it dry and then paint it. To make your own lunar landscape. Look at that, that's brilliant. Good work there, detectives. And in fact, any good space detective out there, you should give this a go. Try it out and think of it as a way of gathering evidence and report back to us with your findings. Well, thank you very much for your assistance, detectives. It'll all be used as evidence. And you now have the right to take a shower. Good luck. Bye. Well done, Agent S. I'd like to try that. Unfortunately, though, I've lost my marbles. <laughs>